Good morning, my friends. It is that time of the year again where it's dark when I go to work and when I come home, it's dark. I feel like I have no life, but one thing I am thankful for is that I have a job. So thank you again for watching my videos and let's get straight into this day. So we are heading to work and I'm thankful that I am not going to Seattle because it is just crazy with traffic. Our first cast removal of the morning is this short arm cast. As you can see in the video, some of the fiberglass was removed by the patient. This is a good reminder for myself to add another layer of fiberglass because sometimes the kids pick on their cast. And I actually don't really blame them because having a cast is really uncomfortable. I've had one just to practice on and honestly, I just, I didn't like it at all. Don't say you're on the run to the other side, my love. And since the patient was not going to go back into a cast, we give him a wrist brace to wear with activities. Up next, we have this short arm cast that I removed on a patient who had a soccer injury. Thankfully, the patient didn't want to keep the cast because it was just so dirty. And they actually went back into a wrist brace. But, you know, a wrist brace is actually better than a cast because you can remove it when showering. Sugar, there's a reason why we a few moments later... I also removed this long arm cast on a patient who had a both bone forearm fracture. This patient's injury happened on the monkey bars, so just take extra precaution when you take your kids to the trampoline or the monkey bars because those are where injuries happen the most. Up next we have this long arm hanging cast and this cast we apply in the orthopedic clinic every two to three months. This cast is actually used for humerus fractures. I also apply this short arm main cast on a patient who had a nail bed injury. Injuries like this usually happen when a patient gets their finger slammed by a door or by a car door. So just be careful out there when you're shutting doors, especially if you have toddlers around you. This cast will be on for about two to three weeks. I also applied this short arm thumb spike a cast and I actually applied it a couple of weeks ago. The patient returned today so I can remove the cast. It feels pretty awesome to remove the cast that you applied because the patient just looks so much happier when being done with this cast. The patient drew all their bones on this cast and they actually wanted to keep it so I'm going to remove the padding and give it back. Many hours later. Today was a great day for most of our patients. We had several short arm casts, and this one here is a green short arm cast. The one coming up is a pink short arm cast. And here's just a quick video of our garbage can full of cast. We got it. <laughs> Sorry that I'm laughing, guys. <laughs> I have tried to record this video several times already. And honestly, this is like my fourth attempt. I just keep on stuttering. I just get a little bit emotional. But I wanted to say that we have passed 500 subscribers. I know, guys, that this might not seem a lot for you all. But to me, honestly, it's been a goal of mine. So I'm so happy that in October 2021, we made it over 500 subscribers. 
I just wanted to say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart it just means so much to me so for my next video I want to answer as many questions as you guys have for me so comment down below any questions you guys have it doesn't matter if it's life personal work leave it down in the comment box below and also leave a comment down below where you are watching me from because I want to know where you guys are located thank you guys again so much for watching my videos I appreciate you guys so much and we'll see you in my next video